Here's a comedy centric moment. Yeah. Um, all right. So look, things are going, let's, let's say things are going pretty well for you <laughs> at that point. Uh, and then you get, you get uh, a, an audition. Did you have to audition for Seinfeld or were you up for? No, it was an audition. Yeah. And you were, you auditioned for Elaine, right? Yeah. For Elaine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell us, tell, let's talk about that for a little bit. Cause people will be, you know, we, we think of Julia Louis as being the only right. possible choice, but we forget that casting calls, they've seen a hundred. Who else? Do you know who else they looked at before? No, I don't. All right, so, you, so you go in the audition. What was the audition like? We walked in the room and there was uh, two stools in the front, which one was Jerry, one was me. And there were about mm, eight-ish people in the back of the room, different producer what casting whatever and larry david was one of them did you know larry yeah i knew yeah, okay. larry and jerry uh, i mean we no, i know you knew, I knew, you knew jerry. Right. Yeah. i i knew that i mean we did socialize because we would hang out at the improv right. bar and stuff but um anyway he he jumped up and said well, well I, didn't, I didn't know you were going to be here and who did Jerry or Larry? Larry. Oh, okay. Well, you didn't recognize my Larry David impression. Um, I did. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> he, he left. He left the room. I, I was like, Why did he leave? I have no idea. I don't know why. I mean, it's not like, you know, we had much interaction in New York. I, I knew him from the club, but not. That's so funny. You know, I don't know why he did that. But you know, it's it's Larry. He does things like that. So he he left, and I thought, what is that about? But um, I had like a page or two with no other context about the story, just that I knew I was his girlfriend or had been a girl. I mean, it was not even clear. So I just made some choices about that, you know, um, and. I knew I would have to kind of go big to get a, like, he wasn't an actor. He's just Jerry, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, so I thought it, I did a good job. And then they told me that they liked my work, but the, the, for Elaine, they wanted somebody who was a little bitchier. So I thought, okay, I'll take that. You know, it's, <laughs> that's not a bad rejection. And because then they gave me the waitress. Uh, right. Part. And, then Jerry, at one point during the taping of the second one, told me that I was married to the owner of the diner. So I was very excited. Oh, that, that would have been fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not what happened. Uh, when they, they did their four, they did the pilot, then they did the four follow up episodes. Right. And then when they decided, okay, we're doing the series, they, the first few seasons, you know, they really just concentrated on the ensemble, the four. Right, um, George, Kramer, Jerry, and but, uh, Elaine wasn't even in the first. She wasn't in the pilot, right? The Elaine character was. I don't think she was even. I don't know if she was in the pilot, but she was in the four episodes. She was in the, one of the first four, or she began yeah. like the second or third. One. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she was in both of mine. Yeah, but you I... also went on. You also did the one we were in the apartment too. So you they right. brought you back for that as well. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. Doesn't that interest other shows? I mean, were you offered other things? As yeah, as I auditioned for a bunch of stuff. I just didn't get it. <laughs> uh, so I have movies, all kinds of big roles sure. that I didn't get. So, but so didn't a lot of other people. So yeah. it's like it is. You know, it's I've done, I've been doing a lot of auditions lately too, and it, and it's just I as much as you are a, a grizzled old veteran and just cynical and go just let it go forget you did it there's a part of you that goes i thought i did a good job i think i got a shot at this you know no matter I, what it is you know? i don't really i mean there are times i'm i'm disappointed because oh i really would have liked that role yeah. but as far as like at this point um i i really don't take rejection from auditions personally because there are so many factors that are totally unrelated. Like you don't match who's supposed to be your brother right. and they have to use him because they owe that agent a favor or, you know, you're not. Yeah. I don't either all, anymore, but I, I, all that stuff. There's so you know, or they wrote that part out or who, I mean, 
all kinds of like so many things could be the reason besides they didn't like your but it's still you know it's it's still a wound and when you're new it's a yeah. big it's when a big new... gaping gaping wound you know? yeah no you have to build a callus you know uh, it takes a while no i i used to cry you know <laughs> and now you know i just like my imagery when i finish or leave an audition is i <laughs> have this image of i'm flushing you know uh, that's song. a good image though on I, you know it's gone if if uh if i get a nice phone call that would be yeah. great but on to the next mm -hmm.